Hello everyone. Yeah, we are going to look at an amortization schedule with deferred payments and uh, at different interest rates. So I'll put the question in the description link so you can have a look at it yourself. So after going through the question, the first thing you have to do is to calculate your um, weekly interest rates. The annual interest rates were given in the question, so you have to use your formulas to calculate for the weekly interest rates. It was convertible monthly, so in order to get our first IP over P, we put our equal to sign, and then we add one to interest rates here. Now first, let's open a double bracket. Yeah, so then we raise this to the power one over 12. This is basically the I12 over 12 interest rate because we're trying to convert this um, annual interest rate to a monthly effective interest rate. Sorry, I had to subtract one minus one. That's basically a change of subjects, making I12 over 12 the subjects. And uh, the same thing applies to this interest rate as well. So we do one plus the interest rate here. Uh, yeah, I should have placed the double brackets again. Yeah, then raised to the power I12 over 12. So one over 12 is the power. 1 over 12, yeah, close bracket, and minus 1. Yeah, so these are two, um, our two monthly interest rates. That's our IP over P, where P is equal to 12. Now, the next thing we have to do is to calculate our regular payment. From the first month to the 18th month, there wasn't any payment, so um, we're going to factor that in our calculation. But let's put a regular payment. We started from the 19th month. And the first thing we have to do is to put our equal to sign. This will be a bit challenging, but let's see. So the loan amount of this divided by, I might be opening several brackets, so just bear with me. Divided by, um, one minus another bracket one plus last this number yes then lift this to the power negative uh, open bracket negative 18 so we close this we close this bracket as well and uh, divide this by this again. Now let's put this whole uh, group in one bracket. You get it. Okay. Now we discount them back to time. We have to discount them back to time zero. Okay, so this whole um, times, we times it by the discounting factor, open a bracket for it, one plus. And remember, we are still in the first 36 months, so the interest rate still remains this one, the L4. Then we lift to the power negative 18. So I'm going to put this in a bracket negative 18. Yeah, so basically we are done with um, the first part of it. Now let's put everything here in a bracket. Brackets are really, really, really important. Really, really, really important. So we add one more thing to the denominator, plus. 
Now, um, the next uh, batch of uh, formulas I'm about to write is the present value of the regular payment for the next 264 months. Then we discount that for 36 months using our first interest rate of this. Okay, so now let's start our formula. We open our first bracket, one minus, open another little bracket, one plus. Then for this time, we use this interest rate, L5. We close it, lift it to the power, open another bracket, negative for, um, 264, 264 months, yeah. We close it. Now, let's give it another bracket. So then we divide this, then we divide this by this again. Then we close the bracket again. Good. Now let's add one more bracket. Then we multiply this by, let me, let me move forward so we see what's going on here. We multiply this by another bracket, one plus, um, remember this time we are discounting it for 36 months. So we use this interest rate. Okay, good. So we close it, raise to the power, um, negative 36 bracket, negative 36. Close it. Now we close our second bracket. Now I think we have to give it a general bracket. Brackets are really, 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 really important here. So now let's execute. Yeah, and that's our payment. So the difficult part of the question has been solved. I'll put the formula in the description link so you understand. I'll also solve it in um, using actuarial formulas. So actuarial students will find it easy to understand as well. So now let's come um, to our payments. Our first month is month one. What will be our um, loan outstanding at the beginning is our 250. And what will be our payments? Now, since we have um, variable interest rates, we have to use a conditional statement. So let's start this by writing if um, this column, right, is less than or equal to the initial uh, deferred payment period. We put zero because if it's less, we pay nothing. If not, we put the payments there. But we have to lock them because we will, will be applying the same thing to the um, other rows. So we just lock them by adding this dollar sign to the letters. Um, yeah. To the letters. Yeah, and that's all. We get our zero. Our interest will be the loan amount times this amount. Let me put a bracket here. By this amount, when um, A3, is less than or equal to 36 because this interest is valid for three months, uh, three years, which is equivalent to 36 months. We close our brackets or oh, times L5. When uh, value here 
is greater than 36. And that's all. Close this and close this. Hit a enter. You get a first interest. So our principal repaid is simply our payment. So sorry, our principal repaid will simply be our payment minus our interest. And that should give us a negative value. Now the outstanding loan, um, outstanding loan uh, at the end of the month is um, okay. Our outstanding loan is this minus our principal repaid, and we get this outstanding loan. But one thing we have to do is with the interest, we have to lock the interest rates because that's what we'll be using for the other rows. So we just lock it with the dollar sign to make our work easier. Yeah. We lock, lock our uh, L4 as well. And that's all. That's all. Let's solve for our second month. Our loan outstanding will be equal to this. And our payment, we've already locked it, so we can just pull it down. Our interest, we've already locked it, we can just pull it down. Our principal is the same. We just pull it down. And this would also be the same. So we just pull it down. So now, since we've gotten this, we can just drag it down. Yeah, it's working. So we just drag it down to time 300. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 295. One, two, three, four, five. So actually, we've been able to solve this in Excel. So I'm going to, to um, put the um, formulas, some of the formulas in the description link, and I'm also available. Just like and um, subscribe my channel for more of such videos. I'll also be covering videos on SQL Server as well. Thank you.